The weather was warm in Punta Mita, Mexico, but the action was... Whoa, whoa, whoa! Well, too hot to handle. These contestants had to deal with plenty of temptation and drama on the show, and we want to know what they've been doing since filming wrapped up. And of course, we want to know who's happily single and who is still looking for love. Francesca and Harry Francesca and Harry were the first couple to cost their fellow cast members money, yet somehow Francesca ended up taking the bulk of the blame. Like that boggles my mind. According to Francesca, she doesn't regret what happened with Harry and believes that many of her co-stars would have done the same in her position, but she admits that she's still waiting for an apology from Harry for letting her take the fall. Apparently, she didn't spend a lot of time thinking about consequences when she was on the show, but now realizes that she made herself out to be a villain early on. But she's mostly worried about what her dad will think and already filled him in on which scenes to skip. As for Harry, Too Hot to Handle wasn't his first time on a dating show. He appeared on Heartbreak Island back in 2018, walking away with the top prize of $100,000 and a girlfriend. Harry and Georgia Breyer split the cash before splitting up just six months later. But his friendship with fellow Heartbreak Island contestant Christian Barbaric stood the test of time, and the two sheltered together in Los Angeles. According to Harry, they have some business ventures in mind and are looking into creating their own vodka company. But of course, the big question is, are Francesca and Harry still together? While the two haven't commented on their status, they've clearly spent time together since they finished filming. Even though they were careful not to include each other on their social media posts, we don't think they just happen to be at the same places at the same time. Rhonda and Sharon Sharon is no stranger to the spotlight. This cast member has been modeling since he graduated high school, but in the interest of being well-rounded, he's also interested in acting, music, and fitness. According to Sharon, he hopes that his time on Too Hot to Handle will help inspire others and give him a platform to share his gifts with the world. That's a tall order for a dating show, but we did see him mature a lot over the course of the season. Rhonda claims that her competitive nature helped her during her time on the show, but now that it's over with, she's back to business. In addition to modeling, Rhonda also owns Pure Lux, which sells stylish accessories. On Too Hot to Handle, Rhonda said she doesn't introduce her son to just anyone, and he did get the chance to face time with Sharon. So did these two make it work once the cameras stopped rolling? They've both been quiet about their relationship status, and other than the fact that they follow each other on Instagram, fans don't have much to go on. According to Rhonda's Insta, the only man in her life is her sweet son. We'll have to wait to see if these two were able to stick together once they were no longer living it up in Mexico. Chloe even though Chloe had to keep her appearance on Too Hot to Handle a secret, she dropped some serious hints on social media leading up to the premiere. This cast member enjoys working both in front of and behind the camera and is still close with her co-stars Lydia and Nicole. Chloe has been taking singing lessons since she was a kid and hopes to incorporate her love of music into her career. She appears in the music video for Bam Fota by Amit, but hopes to release her own song sometime in the future. David According to David, his time on the show was a real learning experience, which has changed the way he approaches relationships and friendships. Being a part of Too Hot to Handle meant being vulnerable, not only to romantic prospects, but to the other male cast members. He claims that opening up to his friends has helped him learn to open up to potential dates, which he believes leads to stronger relationships. David says that he's looking for a serious relationship and wants to find someone to spend the rest of his life with. Too Hot to Handle has made him approach dating in a more purposeful manner, and he says he's ready for commitment. If you can't get enough of David, he has an active presence on social media and he's spilling some secrets about his time on the show. He updates a podcast and vlog in addition to working as a fitness and nutrition coach. David founded the Endeavor Nutrition and Fitness Program and is a brand ambassador for the Nike Training Club. Matthew. What can we say about Too Hot to Handle contestant Matthew Smith that will sound somewhat believable? There's no denying that he's kind of an odd guy, but he's also a busy one. Despite his attraction to Chloe, he sadly didn't find love on the show. However, he did get a chance to take on the role he was clearly born to play when he portrayed Jesus in the movie The Commissioning. Yeah. He does kind of look like Jesus, though. He's been trying to break into the entertainment industry for years and even had a brief stint on the 21st cycle of America's Next Top Model and a one-off appearance on New Girl. In addition to providing us with hours of entertainment, Matthew also has self-published a children's book called Windy. He's also the COO of a company called Dreamcatchers Enterprise, which offers creative content creation, brand content strategy, and event planning. Matthew is definitely more than just a pretty face, but his looks do help him 
out in his modeling career. Haley. Unfortunately, Haley didn't win any prize money after she was kicked off the show for failing to show enough personal growth. But even though she didn't earn any cash, she did make a friend with fellow cast member Francesca. The two of them shared a kiss in an effort to fool the other participants, but thanks to Lana, things didn't exactly go according to plan. Even though Haley claimed she wanted to leave, her friend Francesca was sad to see her go. According to Francesca, Haley was her best friend and confidant, and seeing her sent home really hurt, even though she wasn't exactly surprised. She claims that the two are still good friends and they chat whenever Haley finds time in her busy school schedule. She's a student at the University of North Florida and belongs to the Zeta Tau Alpha sorority. Even though she wasn't on the show for long, many fans are hoping that while Too Hot to Handle was her first time on reality TV, it won't be her last. Bryce Staying at Casa Tau in gorgeous Punta Mita, Mexico was a huge benefit for most contestants even if they did have to share a single bedroom. But Bryce seems to prefer living life out on the open sea since he calls a boat his home. When he's not cruising the waves, he's working as a director, writer, producer, and actor. He even has his own feature film called Counterfeiters, which he offered up for fans to watch for free during quarantine. It was accepted into 16 international film festivals and won awards for both Best Feature Film and Best Actor. Currently, Bryce is testing the waters as a singer and songwriter and is working on his debut album as a solo artist. Despite his busy schedule, he clearly makes time to host a low-key, boat-based shindig every now and again. Chloe might have found Bryce boring, but it's clear that he has no problem finding folks to keep him company. He's also stayed in touch with many members of the Too Hot to Handle cast and showed off his friend Harry's sunglasses on his Instagram account. Kells. When it comes to the cast of Too Hot to Handle, Kells might have been the most competitive one of them all. But that's hardly surprising considering the fact that he's an athlete who's used to keeping his eye on the prize. The account fought with Harry for Francesca's affections and even though he lost that battle, he did win a nice chunk of prize money. He may not have found love on the show, but Kells seems to have made his peace with that based on his social media. Since filming ended, he's enjoyed traveling and hanging out with his pals Matthew, Bryce, and David. Lydia Lydia is an actress and model, and before appearing on Too Hot to Handle, she worked as a ring girl. She was also on a similar show where she was actually proposed to. That's right, Lydia was on the show Ibiza Weekender, where fellow contestant Jordan Davies popped the question. Needless to say, things didn't work out between the two of them, but Lydia was clearly willing to give another dating show a shot. Although she and David had a connection, they didn't discuss long-term plans like the other couples, and based on her social media, she certainly seems to be single. Nicole This show has no shortage of fans, and there are quite a few who think this cast member just didn't get enough screen time. Yes, we're talking about Nicole, who was left out of the Too Hot to Handle spotlight more often than not. It turns out this wasn't the first time she made the cut on a dating show. Nicole earned herself a spot on Love Island, but turned it down to focus on her studies. Once she had her degree, she got back into the dating show game and was thrilled to learn her new show would be streaming on Netflix. But while Nicole was happy to have a spot on Too Hot to Handle, she's now pursuing a more musical career. She's a huge fan of musical theater and grew up singing and playing the piano. Nicole is working at a publishing firm in London, but hopes to incorporate her passion for music into her future career. If you didn't get enough of her on Too Hot to Handle, you can get a personalized message from Nicole on Cameo. Corey Corey was looking for fun when he signed up for Too Hot to Handle, and it seems like he's continued his carefree lifestyle after leaving the show. But if there's something he does take seriously, it's working out. His social media is filled with tips on how to stay fit, and if that's not enough, he's also created a lean lifestyle ebook full of diet and exercise tips. Since filming wrapped up, Corey has traveled, including an exciting trip to Thailand. For the moment, he's sticking close to home, but that doesn't mean he's not showing off his assets on social media. Madison This professional model has over 56,000 followers on Instagram, but it seems like her invitation to the cast parties must have gotten lost in the mail. But considering her time on the show, that's hardly surprising. She was one of the newer additions, and after she failed to make a connection, she ended up getting eliminated. Not that we blame her for reciprocating whatever it was Matthew was trying to accomplish with his flirting. But just because she's not partying with the cast doesn't mean her days are dull. She's traveled 
everywhere from Bali to Switzerland and can be seen showing off her style on social media or providing behind the scenes looks for her fellow models. It seems like she's single, but it's hard to say if she's looking for love any more than she was on Too Hot to Handle. What did you think about Too Hot to Handle? Let us know who your favorite contestant was and how you feel about where they ended up in the comment section. Before you go, make sure to click on the subscribe button for more new videos from the taco. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again next time.